Okay, now we understand why it is important to coordinate this, this supply chain activities. And uh, we look at uh, some of these consequences when such coordination fails. And therefore, firms that share the same value chain, they share the same supply chain, have been trying to develop some of the strategic methodologies that enable them to cope with these uh, uncertainty issues, cope with this, uh, uh, you know, reduce, reduce the information quality. One such approach is the Vendor Managed Inventory, VMI. VMI was first, uh, you know, uh, utilized uh, in the retail industry, for example, Walmart. And think about Walmart. Walmart does not uh, manufacture uh, any products. I mean, that, uh, most of those products, uh, you know, sold at the Walmart store are actually produced by other, you know, company, other suppliers, other manufacturing, you know, partners, also in partners. So basically, Walmart does not make any physical products uh, as part of its uh, uh, regular operations. But think about all these products. Maybe there are many, many different types of products Walmart store has, right? Maybe even a uh, million different units, probably, right? Million different, uh, you know, products types and products units or so think about uh, how difficult it will be for walmart to manage all these uh, many different uh, types of products itself right it has to look at all these big items, you know, snacks and uh, sodas and ice creams and some clothes and uh, some, you know, equipment and machinery and toys. You know, imagine all this uh, complexity that might be involved if Walmart tries to manage all these uh, tens of thousands of different products, inventories by itself. So from Walmart's perspective, it doesn't make sense at all. And therefore, somehow, it probably wanted to delegate some of this inventory management to other parties, especially those suppliers, those, uh, you know, the manufacturing companies that actually make and deliver those products to Walmart. So VMI was uh, initiated uh, in that kind of uh, context. And now look at you know this picture that describes the relationship. Now this is not just uh, in the retail industry. Uh, VMI is uh, that are widely utilized in many other industries as well consumer electronics industries and uh, you know some other uh, even you know service related uh, industries as well now let's look at uh, you know consumer electronics maybe so think about this uh, LG electronics LG electronics LG electronics um, produces TVs and computers and uh, some other consumer electronics and uh, LG Electronics is a buyer and customer of LG Display, which is uh, a manufacturer of TFT LCD panels. And they supply their panels to LG Electronics. The thing is that uh, LG Display ship and ship these panels to the warehouse at LG Electronics. So these are the LG Electronics premise, right? This is a uh, LG Electronics factory, plant, or boundary, right? 
this is a boundary and now LG display not only ship this uh, panels and uh, they put those panels inside this uh, you know LG electronics warehouse but also they manage that inventory managed by the vendor in other words LG display look at always or monitors monitors how many panels remaining and how many panels are retrieved and uh, you know whether we needed to ship a certain type of or a certain size you know panels to LG electronics or not so LG display actually manages the inventory inside LG electronics from LG Electronics perspective, LG Electronics has its own plant or you know if this is a retail store then they have self space. But let's say LG Electronics makes a TV and then uh, they retrieve one you know panel, one TFT LCD panel and they make their TV and eventually they sell to LG Electronics own customer maybe Walmart or E-Mart or these are the retail stores right again okay. so that's the kind of arrangement in the VMI and if you look at this uh, consumer you know detailing industry uh, E-Mart is the buyer and then there are companies like CJ that make this food rated products and the supply or this product to EMOT. So EMOT has its own you know stores and sharp spaces and then a CJ delivers its uh, products like uh, it's uh, pre-cooked rice rice and uh, some cookies and some uh, uh, daily products to EMOT and EMOT uh, display all this CJ's product and who manages all those products or that inventory on the EMOT shelf space CJ will manage it if that is the case then there is VMI relationship between EMOT and CJ right so that's the uh, arrangement or the relationship in the VMI and then the question is why what's the motivation we already said that uh, when I talked about Walmart case Walmart has uh, maybe tens of thousands different products uh, uh, at its uh, you know retail store and uh, it will be too complicated for Walmart to manage each and every one of these uh, you know numerous products by itself and therefore Walmart tries to minimize the complexity rate with uh, inventory management and that's the biggest motivation so Walmart works with uh, its uh, you know suppliers and vendors and so that the, the, each vendor is uh, responsible for managing or monitoring the inventory inside the Walmart retail store but I think that uh, nowadays as uh, VMI is more widely utilized in many other industries the motivation becomes uh, expanded in other words there are many other reasons you know maybe uh, you know companies were able to find new uh, reasons why we why they can use VMI in a more effective way so let's look at this uh, you know advantages and disadvantages of VMI from each one of these uh, stakeholders for example I want to look at I want to look at this uh, um, advantages and uh, disadvantages advantages as well as disadvantages 
from each stakeholder's perspective, vendor and uh, customer. And in this case, we said that vendors, for example, LG Display and maybe CJ, and in this case, customer, LG Electronics, and Walmart, the retail stores, or maybe Emart, which is a Korean retail store. And then uh, advantages for BMI. What is the advantages of a BMI? From LG Electronics or Walmart's perspective, they can reduce inventory management cost, and that's the biggest, uh, biggest, uh, you know, advantage they can expect from this BMI. And also, the customers' sales will increase because uh, if the inventory is managed by the vendors or the suppliers then it's uh, more likely that the shortage will not occur or out of stock can be avoided more than otherwise because uh, you know it's very uh, obvious if Walmart has to pay attention to let's say 500,000 products and manage the inventory for each one of these 500,000 products, then it will be very difficult for Walmart to make sure that uh, the stock out will never occur. Maybe there are some, you know, stock outs occur all the time. But if uh, the supplier, let's say CJ, pays attention to its own product and monitors its own product, then it seems like uh, CJ will do its best in order to avoid any stock out, any shortages. And therefore, the shortage and out of stock will go down significantly. That means that the sales of a customer will go up. And also, the vendors' the sales will go up as well, right? And uh, the negative side of the vendor you know, VMI, the VMI's negative side from the vendor's perspective is inventory cost will go up. That's exactly the opposite here, right? And that's very obvious. When I look at, when I, you know, look at this VMI in the real world, when I actually talked with some of managers that actually are engaged in VMI relationship and then uh, it's very interesting to notice that uh, they don't like VMI especially the vendors and suppliers don't like VMI because uh, most of them think VMI is kind of a, a kind of a tool their customers use to abuse abuse their vendors and suppliers in other words uh, because these customers have more bargaining power they all you know uh, give all these burdens of inventory management to the vendors and suppliers without compensating appropriately so in reality uh, the vendors and suppliers actually do not like is VMI because they view that as a way of uh, customers, uh, you know, avoiding their uh, customers' own inventory management cost, customers' own headache. I, I it's understandable. In reality, that might happen because uh, usually the customers have a more bargaining power, and therefore they, you know, transfer their own cost to the vendors and suppliers. But I would just say that, uh, you know, vendors and customers alike must view VMI from more productive perspective. In other words, if they look at VMI as just a way to reduce inventory cost. In other words, if inventory management cost is the sole reason 
why these vendors and customers uh, adopt the VMI, then the VMI cannot succeed, cannot sustain. Because if inventory cost is the sole reason or the most important factor in VMI, then it's almost like, uh, you know, zero-sum game. Zero-sum game. It's a zero-sum game, right? It's like you have the same pie, and then you divide this pie, and you give this to your vendor, and uh, it goes to the customer. As long as the pie remains the same, no matter what you do, this is just a zero-sum game. If vendor gains, then customer loses. If customer gains, vendor loses. It's a zero-sum game. So never approach VMI from the inventory management cost wrong. The perspective of inventory management cost wrong. That will not solve any any issues, any hard issues related to VMI. Then what is the true reason why you know the supply chain partners needed to use this VMI? VMI is uh, useless unless unless vendor has uh, direct access to the end market demand information and therefore they can increase the information quality and that will reduce the disruption in the production and therefore production planning improves and productivity improves and quality improves and eventually inventory itself goes down at the vendors uh, on the vendor side okay only that happens in other words uh, by you know having direct access to the demand information vendor improves its efficiency and vendor improves its responsiveness and that improvement must help customer to increase its own value at the same time so that the, these two vendors and customers work together more closely because of this VMI because of this uh, information sharing they work together more closely and therefore they should increase the pie increase the pie it's not just about how to share the same old size pie it's about how to enlarge the pie how to increase the pie through VMI relationship that helps the vendor to have more accurate and more valuable more precise information about the end market demand and that will help the efficiency driven value and uh, responsiveness driven value that will help a vendor to achieve those two values more more effectively and more in large quantity in large amount and in turn vendors improvement vendor search improvement must help customer to improve customers own efficiency and customers own responsiveness at the same time so we gotta have a bigger pie right and therefore even if the ratio is the same the vendor will have bigger chunk of the pie then VMI will be successful otherwise it's always a zero sum game which does not guarantee sustainability of the relationship so that's the most important reason why we have to use VMI so if you vendor please approach the VMI from this perspective if you customer please allow your vendor to have extra benefit by engaging in this VMI that will eventually that will eventually the customers sales and customers profit will increase there are some other advantages and disadvantages vendors perspective from vendors point of view 
the relationship with the customer will go up and therefore the relationship be, you know uh, can be really stable in the long run and there are some uh, disadvantages on the part of customers first customers might lose some flexibility in terms of choosing or changing its vendors right because uh, because of VMI customer has a uh, kind of a commitment to the relationship with its current vendor and now let's say that uh, new vendors uh, you know appearing in the market but uh, due to this VMI relationship customer cannot easily change its vendors cannot easily change its uh, you know suppliers and because of this closer relationship with its vendors the customers might be afraid of uh, leaking some of its proprietary information and proprietary knowledge to its own competitors, to the outsiders. Alright, so that's the advantages and disadvantages of VMI. So we need to understand what you know benefits and what cost involved in VMI. There are two key issues that must be resolved. There are key issues that must be resolved. The first, there is an issue about inventory ownership. In other words, when LG Display deliver the inventory, deliver the products to inside LG Electronics, who owns that inventory inside LG Electronics? LG Display has the ownership or LG Electronics has the ownership. Obviously, each probably doesn't want to have ownership of that inventory because if you, you know, store some of these products, many things can happen. There might be some uh, obsolescence risk, there might be some, you know, theft, or there might be some deterioration or lost and so on and so forth. So uh, there are many uh, factors that affect the value of inventory while we storing those products. And therefore, in general, you know, companies don't want to have ownership of that inventory uh, under this VMI relationship. And therefore, probably the bargaining power balance, the bargaining power balance will determine. In other words, if customers has a large bargaining power, then probably customers want to its vendor to have the ownership of the inventory inside the customer's premise, inside the customer's you know a boundary of its own company. And I think that uh, if customers and vendors actually trust with each other, trust each other, and they commit to their VMI relationship, then uh, the inventory ownership issue must be resolved not by bargaining power balance only, but by some of the long-term strategy considerations. The second key issue that must be resolved is uh, how much information we want to share. In other words, uh, VMI, okay, it's good, but then the, the customer has to decide how deep the information can be whether you know they want to share some delayed information or real time information they want to have only price information or price plus quantity plus uh, and the customers profiles and so on and so forth or even the customer might decide to give some very delicate information about the vendors competitors the vendors you know the suppliers competitors product in other words uh, you know how many units of the vendors competitors products are sold to the customers compared with uh, those supplied by the vendor and supplier in the VMI relationship so I think that uh, the key issues must be resolved resolved uh, in order to make sure the VMI works effectively. Uh, first, inventory ownership issue. And then the second, information grade. 
in other words how deep the information can be how detailed the information can be so once the vendors and customers work together once they first they have to build trust and they have to understand what kind of benefits they can expect from their VMI arrangement VMI relationship and then they have to understand what kind of uh, commitment what kind of collaboration what kind of coordination it requires you know such such a good uh, outcome in order to have such a good outcome they must have coordination plus trust and in order to make sure they have those if they understand these advantages and disadvantages and also the key issues that must be resolved then they will be able to find better way to reach the agreement that will increase the pie that will have vendors and customers to move away from this zero-sum game dead drop situation and make sure that uh, VMI cannot be successful without vendors achieving this benefit and also the vendors advantage the benefit due to this direct access to demand information must help customers to increase its own sales in the long run maybe significantly